On our small farm, we have a ton of tires to take care of. I feel like I'm always repairing or filling up leaky tires, especially in the springtime when it's time to get out equipment from the back of the property. And considering I don't have a 800 foot uh, air hose to run from my air compressor out to the back, I have often put my air compressor in the bucket of our tractor. Hiked it all the way back out there, filled something up, and brought it back to the shop. And that's just ridiculous. I have, for whatever reason, never purchased an air tank, so I decided we need to make an air tank. I've decided to actually make two air tanks. Uh, one simple one and uh, one more advanced one just for fun. You can get these propane tanks for free just about anywhere. I, you can pick them off the side of the road, look on Facebook Marketplace. Everyone's trying to get rid of these things for either next to nothing or free. Um, the two styles you're going to come across is the OPD style. It's going to have a triangular valve. That stands for overfill protection device. It's got a little float in the bottom, or I should say just below the valve, uh, to turn it off once it's 80% uh, full. Uh, in this type of valve, you're going to find that you have to use um, one of these adapters to push on the valve on the inside as well. When you crack this open, nothing happens unless you've got the appropriate adapter pushing on the valve on the inside. Then you're going to be able to purge this tank. This is the old style valves. These are the POL valves. I don't know what that stands for and that's fine. Uh, you can see the valve um, handle is a lot different. Uh, when you crack these open you can tell if there's any gas left in the tank just by cracking it open and it's 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 gonna purge right out. It opens up the valve inside instantly. You don't need anything to actually be pushing on that valve on the inside. Now these adapters are really easy to find. If you find a gas grill, someone's thrown out on the edge of their driveway, getting ready to get scrapped, uh, just go up, snap this little thing off, take off the regulator, we don't want that, and, and then uh, all you need, because uh, it's conveniently tapped with quarter uh, pipe thread, is a dis quick disconnect air adapter, and that screws right on there. Put a little tape or a little plumber's putty on there, and you're good to go. Now one thing I noticed with this particular one is that that hole is is quite small so I think what I'm gonna end up doing and it almost looks like somebody had already done this or tried to or started to uh, I'm gonna drill this out and open that hole up uh, so that we get a lot of a good airflow before we connect anything. <laughs> Now I've got the little tank cleaned up, put some spray paint on it, uh, labeled it to make sure nobody gets confused. I put our little adapter on there. Um, I used a male and female hose connector to be able to fill the tank and then I purged air into it and let it out a few times just to get any uh, propane vapors that might have been lingering out of there. Um, that smell, that propane smell, uh, they added a chemical called ethyl mercaptan, I believe. That smell is probably never going to come out of this tank completely. It doesn't mean there's propane in there, it just has permeated into the pores of the steel and it's going to linger for a long time, probably. And since I like building stuff, uh, I'm not going to uh, settle for just the simple one. I'm going to take this 30 pound tank, we're going to cut off the guard take out the valve, cut off the bottom, put it horizontal, make some legs, a handle, and make it a little fancier.
let's blow this out before we start grinding and welding on it. fun building these portable air tanks. Uh, this one cost me absolutely nothing. It was free. I just used a few parts I had lying around. The more advanced one cost me maybe $25 for the Schrader valve, the hose, uh, the gauge, a couple of fittings and such. These old free, these old free uh, propane tanks are great for making all sorts of things. Obviously, I made good use of them here. Just make sure if you do end up using them, you blow them out good. Uh, make sure you blow them out before you have any grinding or cutting or welding or anything like that. So if you've enjoyed my videos, please uh, give a like and subscribe uh, to keep up on anything we new I do over here. And remember, if you're bored, get out there and build something.